All right, so Poco X3 Pro users, a new custom ROM for you guys once again. And this time we are talking about Hentai OS Salty Ice Cream, an official Android 12 updated on the 19th of December 2021. Now remember, we've covered this ROM on this particular device, that to the official version, and my impressions of that particular ROM were pretty, pretty good. This ROM is also known as the Pixel 5 ROM. So this is basically a very, very pure version of Google's Android, how it is delivered on the Pixel 5 or Pixel devices. So before we get into the complete review of this particular ROM, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. And remember it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this if you like chatting with like-minded people join us on telegram we have more than 1500 members there we are present on instagram facebook and twitter and last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is kailash let's get going Now let's see what we have here. Hentai OS Salty Ice Cream, unofficial Android 12, updated on the 19th of December 2021. If we talk about the change log over here, now as you can see, this is the Hentai OS change log. So it's basically the source change log. We're not going to get into that. You have screenshot supports, build ships with G apps. This ROM does not include any Hentai apps or 2D nudes animation characters, so it's nothing to worry there. And uh, you do have safety net should be passed. If not, just hide Majisk. SE Linux status is in full sync. Now, when you talk about this particular ROM, it's a very, very basic and very, very pure version of Android that we are talking about. In this case, this is Android version 12. Now, the moment you boot into this particular ROM, you will see that you have a beautiful logo of this particular ROM, very, very few applications with big icons, a Google search pill at the bottom, along with Assistant Quick launch available as well now to the left of course you do have the beautiful google feed which works absolutely fine and in 120 hertz mode it is doing a great job now if you swipe from the top to bottom you do have your standard typical android 12 affair going on if you go to edit you will see that you have your privacy access styles and you don't really have a lot of customization now remember this rom is nothing about customization this is about giving you the pure android experience with you know the maximum amount of smoothness that can be provided now as far as the quick tiles are concerned as i said you don't really get a lot of options but you do have things like screen record because remember that is a part of android 12. now in screen recorder you do get internal and external audio and as always for the poco x3 pro what is important is does it lag while recording the screen so let's start the screen recording over here okay the screen recording has started over here Now, initial impressions, really, really smooth. This is one of the best ROMs as far as screen recording smoothness is concerned. I'm not seeing any issues whatsoever. There is a very slight lag, but I would not call it lag. Let's actually go ahead and stop the screen recording over here. Let it process, increase the audio volume and see over here. Right. So the screen recording is fine, but the audio did get garbled over there, which is not something good. So I would still recommend you guys. So initially, you know, for the first two, three seconds, the audio goes bad and then it becomes absolutely fine. That is one problem you might expect. And uh, you see over here that it's switching between 30 and 120. So that's something related to dynamic, dynamic refresh rate. I'm not sure. But if you press and hold over here, you have home settings in which you have very very basic options for your pixel launcher if you have widgets you have the standard android 12 widgets which are working absolutely fine and then if you go to wallpaper and style you do have themed icons over here so say you go ahead and click on change wallpaper you go to curated culture and you select this one home and lock screen the ui is already changing color and yes themed icons are working absolutely fine and Monet UI is doing a great job of colorizing the whole interface and that looks really, really neat. Now, if you actually go to settings, so you go to about phone and you go to the Android version, Android version is 12, security patch is December 5th and the kernel that we are talking about is the Shaldia Derp kernel, which was updated on the December 15th. 
So pretty decent kernel, pretty decent ROM. Right? If you ask me, what are the new features? What are the you know special things in this particular ROM? Trust me, nothing. This ROM is supposed to be straight forward, smooth and fast. That's what Pixel 5 ROM has been known for. Not really a lot of, you know, customization options. You won't get a dedicated customization menu like Havoc OS or Resurrection Remix and stuff like that. If you go to battery, you won't really have thermal profiles over here. You do have battery percentage. And while we are talking about battery, if you go to battery usage, you will see that the phone has been used for the last few hours in which we've had some amount of screen on time. So not exactly a battery test, but the battery backup has been pretty decent in all this time that I've been using it. As you can see, it does say it has about 17 hours and 24 minutes left. So that is fine. Battery percentage option is present and it works absolutely okay. You do have sound and vibration in which you don't have MI sound enhancer or anything. And then you have your standard wallpaper in style. And now that you've changed the wallpaper, you can actually go ahead and change the colors that you want to see using Monet UI and that works beautifully. Now, as far as the security is concerned, as you can see over here, you have Nexus imprint. Remember, devices by Google were earlier known as Nexus devices. Now they are known as Pixel devices. So you see app security and all these things are present. You have advanced settings for smart lock and other options. So, you know, you do have fingerprint scanner, which works absolutely fine, but I did not see face unlock over there. Right now, apart from this, if you go to system, you do have live translate over here. Then you have gestures in which you have system navigation. You don't really have an option of three finger screenshot or it might be in some other setting, which I've not been able to discover till now. And apart from this, you don't really have any more additional features. Now, what is the USP of this particular ROM you ask? Well, this is absolutely bone stock pure Android. It works really, really smooth. You don't have any additional applications any additional settings, nothing of that sort. Whatever is present works very cohesively, works fine. Let me actually go ahead and show you a few important aspects which you will be checking in your day-to-day -day usage. For example, if you talk about safety net over here, let's see. So it does show safety net fail. You will have to use Majisk for that. And remember, this is an unofficial version. So whenever we get an official version, it should be fixed. Device is not certified. So once safety net is taken care of, if you clear data of the Play Store, your device certification should be fine as well. As far as DRM info is concerned, you do have Widevine L1. And let's talk about the important benchmark numbers now. All right, so as you can see over here, the CPU throttled to 78% of its max performance and the average score was 179.554 GIPS. The max was 208, 300 GIPS. So anything below 80% means that the device is thr throttling quite a lot and you might have stutters and jitters while gaming. Now let's go ahead and talk about the Geekbench numbers over here because they do matter as well and history 785 single core 2654 multi-core so this is an excellent score and if we talk about antutu we have let's see here 547,929 so that's like you know 20 to 30,000 less compared to the stock ROM so who is this particular ROM for if you want you know something different that you want to try and doesn't have a lot of customization this is an initial build, go ahead and give it a try. I'm pretty sure you can use it as a daily driver after installing Magisk and making sure safety net is working. You should be able to get through using your banking applications as well. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this particular ROM on the Poco X3 Pro? Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.